Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, sir. Um, okay, so please stand up and let's have a prayer. Then the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, who is the secretary of this class? Miss Basas. Um, okay, Miss Basas, can you play? please check the attendance and tell me who are the absent guests. Done, sir. Okay, thank you. So, to start this discussion, I have some classroom rules that are needed to be followed. So, first, listen at the gate and stay focused on the discussion. Second, raise your hand if you want to answer your idea or ask question. And the last is be active and participative. So, again, good afternoon. I hope that you are all excited to learn of our new lesson for this afternoon. So, um, let's start off our afternoon through a simple activity. So, look at these images. Um, what idea can be extracted from this given scenario? Anyone? Sir. Mr. Uh, Mrs. Vasquez. They view things differently, sir. Yes, that's right. Is there any additional idea or observation? Anyone? Sir. Yes, Mr. Sarsuelo. They have different claims. Yes, very good. So, in this picture, they are looking for a different terms which eventually create a disagreement between them. So, this is when argumentation happens. So, in connection to this, we are talking about um, argumentative reasoning. So, so I. But before that, I preferred some short activity inside of what is your stand. So, here in this activity, I will show some issues that are arising nowadays in the Philippines or in our country. Then after that, you will. All you need to do is, is stand on whether you agree or disagree or disagree, favor and act or unfavor on this particular issues on the screen. Um, who can read for the first and answer rather in this first issue? So, Mr. Sarsuela. Okay. Lowering the criminals age to 12 years old. Sir, I am not in favor because they are too young to be in jail. They don't even know what is right and wrong. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Suelo. So according to, me, to him that he is not agree about lowering the criminal age to 12 years old because we are that at that age they are still in the process of maturing and they don't know what is wrong and right. So any uh, answer, Miss Moega? I think say more because even though you're still young, crime is a crime and you have to face your consequences. Okay, nice. Next, to the second issue, we can read. Um, Miss Basa. <clears throat> no vaccine, no entry policy. Agree with it. Sir, I am in, in favor because it is for our own safety and for everyone. Okay, thank you. Last issue is about mandatory military service for adult Filipinos. So who can answer? Mr. Sosuelo again. I am not in favor because we have the right to choose what they want. Okay, nice inside. So after that, um, again, thank you for your cooperation. And can you give me a round of applause? Thank you. So, in connection to this, let us learn more about it or by learning argumentative essay. Arguments. When we say arguments, it's a part of everyday life and they can be used for main purposes to change someone's point of view, to promote social action, or to ask an audience to accept the writer's stand on that concept, issue, or problem. So, that was the definition or what we say argument. It means that 
it can be used to pay for possess, to change someone's point of view, to promote social action, and etc. Next, what do you mean by argumentative essay? So, when we say argumentative essay, it's a written form of argumentation. It's a piece of writing that takes a stand on an issue. It presents evidences for a claim in order to let the reader know when it is more favorable. So, last look at this. It says that it says here that we are expected to take a stand on this certain issue, and or in other words, that or in other words, that we have the right to choose and issue choose a side from those issues presented. So like from our from like from our activity earlier, I I posted some issues in the Philippines and then you are able to decide what your stand would be. Next um, next is the part of argumentative you say. So there are three parts of argumentative essay. First is introduction, body, and conclusion. So introduction, it contains introduce the issue, give background information, state your claim or thesis. Then in body, present your evidence. So when you present an evidence, you have reason, then supporting detail. <coughs> But take note, each paragraph has contained one reason and its supporting details. Then, the supporting details may include example, statistic, personal experience, or, or petition. Next, we have the third part, the last part is, is conclusion. So, in conclusion, a general statement that supports your claim or thesis statement. Then, a petition or call to action. So, I will show some example about those parts of argumentative essay. So here in the introduction, there is no doubt that the marine mammals should not be held in captivity. They are a part of nature and should not be bought, sold, or thrown in an aquarium. So marine mammals have the right to be keep in their natural environment. So it introduced some issues about marine marine mamas. Then mamas, I meant. Then it gives a background information that they are not part of nature, should not be bought, sold or thrown in an aquarium. Then the bold um words here was that claim or the thesis statement which is marine mammals have the right to be kept in their natural environment. Next, you have the body. So, captivity, captivity causes many health problems in marine mammals. Many tanks have a pool of chemicals and bacteria, which result to blindness and many skin problems in dolphins and other marine mammals. So, to make sure the this the captivity causes many health problems in marine mammals was the reason number one. Then this, the rest is the supporting detail. So next is so marine mammals also breed very poorly in captivity with very really high and one death rate. For the reason when a baby dolphin is birthed in captivity. Its birth is virtually keep a secret from its mother until it shows sign of survival. Marine mammals do breed in captivity, but the birth rate in captivity is not as successful as in the wild. So, the reason here is the marine mammals also bred very poorly in captivity with very high infant death, death, death rates. And then the rest is the supporting details. Next, you have the conclusion. So, we can read Ms. Mika and Ms. Mr. the conclusion. In conclusion, marine mammals should definitely not be held in captivity. Mahatma Shandi once said, The greatness of a nation and its moral process can be me measured by the way its animals are treated. In a world where much of nature, the wild has already been lost. 
It is up to us to let these beautiful marine mammals be. Okay, thank you. So, this statement shows a support or support claims, which is the marine mammal should definitely not be held in captivity. Then, then like I said earlier, that the conclusion contains sacrificial, so which is the greatest of mission and it's the moral process can be measured by the way animals are treated. Then, so, are we clear? Do you have any question? None, sir. Okay, thank you. So, based on what I was discussed earlier, what is an argumentative to say? Post. You post on it. Okay? Okay. Can you please? Uh, argument of the essay, sir, is a type of essay that represents arguments about the both sides of an issue. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jodhi. So, what are the three parts of argumentative essay? Um, Miss Muika, again. The three parts of an argumentative essay is introduction, working in your arguments, and conclusion. Okay, thank you. I am glad that everyone is participating and already had an idea about argumentative essay and its part. So, I have question. Um, can someone tell me the use of argumentative essay outside the school? If possible, go. Um, I repeat, can someone tell me the use of argumentative essay outside the school? So, you. Okay, argumentative essay can be used when you're solving societal issues through organization or private sectors. Okay, thank you. So, we, we can use argumentative essay, like Mrs. Monica said, that to resolve a societal issues. Okay. Very well. Do you think you will be using this in the future? Yes, yes or no? sir. Yes, thank sir. Thank you. Good. So... I have a group activity. I'll divide this class into four groups. There will be the group one, group two, group two, group three, and group four. So you all need to do is to identify each part of the value argumentation. So this is littered uh, from Natalie. So you have to, all you need to do is to identify the introduction, the Body and the conclusion. Okay, I will give you five minutes. Okay, time is up. We're done. Yes, sir. Okay, so it to make a general decision about our discussion. Again, argumentative essay is an essay that uses evidence and facts to support the claims it may be. It's for its purpose is to persuade and convince the reader to agree with the arguments being made and, intro and introduction, body, inclusion are its part. So, next. Um, I have this individual activity or for our evaluation. So, write an argumentative essay that people result to this topic. So, this will help you to how to compose your argument, how, how to compose your own argumentative essay. So, the issues here in the topic is, or you should focus on, should vaccination be required for students to attend public school? Then, our great equivalent was, when you get 12 to 15 points, it, will, it is excellent. 9 to 11 points. Very good. And six to eight points, good. And three to five points needs more practice. So then and for your assignment, stop. So, okay, again, I will give you another five minutes to answer this. Um, okay, are you done? Okay, yes, sir. Paper. Okay. And then for your assignment, um, I want you to write an argumentative essay about or about this question. What is the biggest challenge faced by the student today? So, do you have any question regarding our assignment? 
None, sir. Okay, thank you. If none, last is me. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. sir. Okay.